good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the subject engineering graphics under engineering graphics we are discussing now a problem on cycladal curves this is the eighth solved problem we are discussing under cycladal curves now we will enter into the problem the problem which we are going to discuss now is a very very important and it was asked many times under university examinations the given problem is a coin of 40 mm diameter rolls over a surface of horizontal table without slipping a point on the circumference of the coin is in contact with the table surface in the beginning and after one complete revolution draw the path traced by the point and name the path of the curve also draw normal and tangent to the curve at any point on the curve for easily analyzing the solved problem we will see the animated video to trace the path traced by a point on the circumference of coin which rolls on the surface of the table for one complete revolution without slipping this is the coin and this coin is rolling on the top of the dining table this is the top of the dining table on this dining table the coin rolls point p is on the circumference of the coin now we will trace out the moment of the point p when the coin rolls on the surface of the dining table for one complete revolution without slipping here this coin rolls on the top surface of a table for one complete revolution then the distance traveled by the coin on the top surface of the table is equal to 2 pi r that is p to p dash is equal to 2 pi r we traced out moment of the point from p to p dash is a cycladal curve from the animated video we observed that the path is by the point on the coin which rolls on the surface of a table without slipping for one complete revolution is a cycladal curve now we will write the data here the diameter of the coin is 40 mm and circumference of the coin which is equal to pi d which is equal to pi into 40 which is equal to 125.66 mm then the coin rolls on horizontal surface of the table for one complete revolution the path traced by the point on the circumference on the coin for one complete revolution on surface of the table without slipping is cycladal curve our objective is to construct the cycladal curve in addition to that we need to draw the normal as well as tangent to the curve at any point on it now we will enter into the construction of the cycladal curve after constructing the cycladal curve then we will draw normal and tangent to the curve at any point on the curve in the problem it is mentioned that the diameter of the coin that is rolling circle diameter is equal to 40 mm now locate a point c then with c as a center and rolling circle radius say 20 mm as a radius draw one circle that is locate a point c with c as a center rolling circle radius that is 20 mm as radius draw one circle after drawing the rolling circle then we will divide the rolling circle into 12 equal parts by using compass or protractor here we are dividing the rolling circle into 12 equal parts by using compass after dividing the rolling circle into 12 equal parts then number those division points on the rolling circle here the rolling circle rolls in clockwise direction then this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 are the division points on the circumference of a rolling circle here the rolling circle rolls in a clockwise direction then we will do the dimensioning of the coin that is rolling circle diameter here rolling circle diameter is 40 mm then 
locate a point P on the circumference of the rolling circle that's to at the bottom point. Now we will draw the tangent to the rolling circle at point P. Here the length of the tangent is equal to circumference of the rolling circle. Here this is P and this one is P dash that is P to P dash is the length of the tangent which is nothing but the surface of the table. Here the length of the tangent P P dash is equal to circumference of the rolling circle which is equal to pi into D. Here D is equal to 40 mm. Then pi D value becomes 125.66 millimeters. Here this is the coin. In the construction process we are naming it as rolling circle whereas P to P dash is the surface of the dining table. In the construction process we are naming it as directing line. Now we will divide the directing line say P to P dash into 12 equal parts. Why we need to divide P to P dash into 12 equal parts? Here the length P to P dash is equal to circumference of the rolling circle. Here the rolling circle is divided into 12 equal parts. That's why we need to divide P to P dash also into 12 equal parts. Here for dividing P to P dash line into 12 equal parts, we are using acute angle line method. Now we will divide P to P dash into equal parts by using dividing a line into equal parts concept. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 are the division points on the directing line. Then draw horizontal lines passing through the division points on the rolling circle. Here these are the horizontal lines and these lines are passing through the division points on the rolling circle. Then draw a line passing through the center of the rolling circle and this line is parallel to the directing line. This line is called locus of path center line for rolling circle. This line is called locus of path center line for rolling circle. With reference to the division points on the directing line, divide the locus of path center line also into 12 equal divisions and name those division points on the locus of path center line as say C1, C2, C3, etc. Then with compass, take CP as radius. Here CP is nothing but rolling circle radius which is equal to 20 mm as radius and one leg of the compass we need to keep at the point C1 and draw an arc on the horizontal line passing through the first division point on the rolling circle. Here radius is equal to CP which is equal to 20 mm and center is C1 and draw an arc on the horizontal line which is passing through the first division point on the rolling circle. Then with the same radius and center as C2, draw an arc on the horizontal line passing through the second division point on the rolling circle that is C2 as center and rolling circle radius as a radius, draw an arc on the horizontal line passing through the second division point on the rolling circle. Here we are naming this point as P1 and this point as P2. Then with C3 as a center, CP as a radius, draw an arc on the horizontal line passing through the third division point on the rolling circle. Here C3 is the center and this radius is equal to rolling circle radius and we are naming this point as P3. Then C4 as a center, CP as a radius, draw an arc on the horizontal line passing through the fourth division on the rolling circle. Then name this point as P4. Similarly, 
repeat the procedure for getting the point say P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11 and P12. Then name those points say P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11, P12. Then starting with the point P and joining through the point say P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11 and P12. Draw smooth curve. The smooth curve is called cycloidal curve. Then we'll move towards drawing normal and tangent to the cycloidal curve. Now we will see how to draw normal and tangent to the cycloidal curve at any point on it. Here we are taking a point on the cycloidal curve at a distance 30 mm from the directing line. For locating the normal and tangent point on the cycloidal curve, we are using mini drafter. Here we are aligning one of the drafter scale to the directing line and another scale is perpendicular to the direct line so that the drafter is more in such a way that the vertical scale is going to touch the cycloidal curve at a distance 30 mm from the directing line. Then name this point as M. At M as a center, rolling circle radius as a radius that is CP as a radius draw an arc on the locus of arc center line then name the intersection point of the arc as well as the locus of arc center line as s yet s as a center draw perpendicular to the directing line then the perpendicular line cuts the directing line at a point say n then join n as well as m and extend it further then name the other end of this line as n dash. Here n n dash is the normal. Then perpendicular to n n dash line passing through m draw another line and this line is the tangent. We are naming this line as t t dash. Here t t dash is the tangent. That is n n dash is the normal. t t dash is the tangent. Now we will see the pin sluices details in this drawing here. The construction lines are with 3H pencil. Dimensioning is with 2H pencil. The cycloidal curve, normal and tangent are with H pencil. The diameter of the coin is 40 mm. The length of the directing line is equal to circumference of the rolling circle which is equal to 125.66 millimeters and the tangent point is at a distance 30 mm from the horizontal surface of the table. Here all dimensions are in millimeters. This is the coin and P to P dash line is the horizontal surface of the table and this curve is the cycloidal curve. This is the solution for the given problem. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under the description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. If you have any doubts or queries, do write it down under comment section below this video. I will be very happy to clarify them. Stay blessed. Thank you.